Hi everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Fantastic Crafts with the Rapid City Public Library. Today we're going to be making pinwheels that spin in the wind. Now we're going to be using tacks in this craft today, so make sure that you're using, or make sure that you're creating with your parent or with your adult, with some adult supervision, because these tacks are sharp and I don't want you to hurt yourself with them. So let's get started and take a look at what we have in our Take and Make kits and build our pinwheels. In your Take and Make kit, you should have an instruction booklet, a piece of square cardstock, a paper straw, and a tack. Now be careful with this tack. It comes with a back on it, but it is sharp, so you do want to be very careful while working with it. You're also going to need a ruler, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. Let's get started. So our first step is to decorate one side of your cardstock. You can decorate with paints, with markers, with crowns, whatever you want. I'm going to skip that step and I'm going to move on to step number two where we use our ruler and we're going to mark the very center of our piece of paper on the white side. So I'm just going to measure and it looks like it's about eight inches across and so right at four inches I'm going to put a dot and that should be the very center. Now next what we need to do is use our ruler to draw diagonal lines from the corner of each corner halfway in. So we don't want to go all the way in, we just want to go halfway in. So once again, I'm going to line up my ruler so I can make nice straight lines. And I'm going to do lines just halfway in. All right, there we go. That's a little bit off, but that's okay. I can tell where I need to cut to. So next what we're going to do is take our scissors and we're going to cut straight in just to the end of that line that we created. So on all four sides. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but again, you don't want to cut too much further in than the center of those lines or the end of those lines, excuse me. Great, so now we have this all ready to go. And next what we're going to do is we're going to take our push pin, take the back off very carefully, and once again carefully push it into the middle of your paper, right where that dot was that you made in the middle. Now we're going to take the right side of one little section and we're going to push the push pin in to the corner of it, just like that. So I push the push pin into the corner while folding it up. I'm going to take the right side of the next section, fold it under, and push the push pin in again. And we're gonna do it again on the next section, fold it under, and push the push pin in again. You can flatten it a little bit if you want. Don't flatten it too much. And then last one, once again, the right hand side. And this is the toughest one to get. If you need an adult to help you, definitely get one. But we're going to just push that right in, watching your fingers, and then push them all back through the back of the card. Now we're not done just yet, but you can put the back on here so it doesn't slip through the paper. And what you wanna do next is take your paper straw and flatten it out on the top part for about an inch, which is the size of your knuckle about. So flatten it out nice and flat. We're going to hold the pin in with your front finger. So on the flat part, hold it in, take the back off and we're going to stick the pin through the paper straw. 
all the way through. Put the back back on. And now you have your very own pinwheel. Great job, guys. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me as we made our pinwheels today. So much fun. They can spin in the wind. I bet yours looks a lot more decorative than mine does. I would love to see them. So go ahead and send us a picture of your pinwheel and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel also for more crafts and fun ideas from the Rapid City Public Library. We'll see you next time, my friends. Have a great day. Bye.